G'day guys, it's Ralph Mayhew here and welcome to Video Prop Converters channel. Today I want to talk to you about two easy and free ways to split video using two different programs, Video Prop Vlogger and Video Prop Converter. So why would you need to do this, you might ask? Well, it's handy if you're trying to reuse your video. So you have a long video and you want to cut a segment out and you reuse that, reformat it, repurpose it for a different reason. It's uh, handy if you want to send part of a video to somebody else or if you want to take a little excerpt out of what you have already and use that in another project. So there's a myriad of ways this can help you out and I hope you stick around for the video. Subscribe if you haven't already and please like this video and let's get into it. The first program we're going to use is called Video Proc Converter. If you're familiar with this channel, you'll be familiar with this software, but if not, welcome. All you need to do is go to the website, links in the description below, and from there, just download this free piece of software. If you're wanting to do a lot of editing with longer versions of video, then you'll need to upgrade. But for today's purposes, we should be right with the free version. Once that's downloaded, you want to uh, fire it up, open up the program, and this is what it looks like. This is the screen you arrive at. You click on video, and it brings up these options. First of all, we're going to start with the video. Uh, the best way to get a video is to take one you already have and drag it into here. That loads up, and there is our video that we're going to use today. Now, there's a number of options down here. We can choose popular video device music or our toolbox. We're going to go to our toolbox and then we're going to choose split. Once we've chosen split, we double click on that and it brings up a video that was a vlog I took some time ago. Now, I know there is part of this video that I actually want to use to take one of the elements I use from it and use it for something else. That element is at about the four minute mark. Now, if you'll notice on the right hand side, it already has some options for how many split video average into segments we might choose. Now, I actually want to only split one, but you can split it into four and then you can choose your timing of each of them. But if we go down to one, I then need to select the one bit of video I want to take out of it. Likewise, if you went two, you could add your start time and end time of the first clip, your start time and end time of the second clip, and it would automatically export them to for you. But we're going to go to one video today. Likewise, you could split the video into 600 seconds or 60 seconds or whatever you like, whatever you need. So there's a myriad of options for you. Let's go now. So at the moment, it's set from zero all the way up to eight minutes and seven seconds. And and I want to select, if I go all the way through, and at four minutes, that's the piece I want that you can see on the screen now. And that goes through till about four minutes 23. Look at this, it's 18, 19, 23. All right, so what we're going to do is put start time, double click on that, click again. I'm going to fill in four minutes there. And then if I click on end time, and I go four minutes 23, Click outside of it, the duration is 23 seconds, it's split. I'm just gonna go done. Then I'm gonna go over to here. I'm gonna make sure the hardware air acceleration engine is switched on. I have downloaded that from Video Proc Converter. It is free and I would recommend it. It means your processing of video is much, much quicker. The output folder is my desktop and I'm just gonna go run. And watch this, wait, three, two, one. It's because you haven't purchased the uh, full version. Then you go continue. And watch how quick this goes. This is real time. Like no sped up, no nothing. Boom, done already. Desktop local, if I click on that, that should be my new file. And look at that. And let's just check it does with the volume. It does. That's the first way. So the second way is we use Video Proc Vlogger. To do that, you go to the website, follow the link below, download the free version. When you fire it up, it looks like this. Now, I would suggest at this point that you have your video on your hard drive that you also have installed your program onto it where it's much more smoothly. Uh, we will now go new project. We'll just check it's 1080p. I can actually go to 4K. I prefer 4K. You can change your video resolution if you want and you can call it your project name. So I'm going to call this Star Trail Excerpt. So I'm going to send it to a mate who I'm trying to help get a feel for what this is about. We're going to go new project. Now into here I can just drag my previous video. So I go to my desktop, uh, there's the video. I can just drag it in. 
Now what you do is you just simply drag it down onto your menu bar. If you want to navigate across the video, you need to click around the green line and the green line will move your timer along. Now it's, as you can see, we're zoomed in a fair bit. So we use this here to zoom out, which gives us a bit more perspective. And I can see just by the audio that here is where my music starts and here is where my music finishes. So we're going to go to there, which happens to be at the four minute mark, 3.59.09. And if I just inch along just a tiny bit, I get to the start of my time lapse. And then all you need to do is Command B, which is Command Blade, cuts it in half. Then we move our tracker all the way along to the end of the time lapse video, which is just about there. Gonna go Command B. And then I select this. So I select my latter half of the video, I press Delete. I select my former half of the video, I press Delete. And with that in mind, I select it, I press Export. I make sure I want high quality, which is, I'm gonna go up to five, high quality engine. And then all you need to do, make sure your audio is good. I'm saving it to my downloads. It's called Star Trek Exile. I want MP4 format. We're good to go. I press start. All right, that was a minute and a half, pretty quick. Here's the video. Look at that. That's as good as it was when I took it and put it on my video to start off with. Super happy with that. So if this video has helped you, please subscribe. Give us a thumbs up. If you have any questions, put them in the comments below. We'd love to respond to them and help you out. If you have better options, if you think there's other software out there that does it easier and is just as free, please let us know. Otherwise, thanks so much and we'll catch you in the next video. Bye.